Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's take some more example. We need to find the remainder by dividing x cube plus 3 by x plus 1. So we have two ways. One is actually you divide. Let's do that. Let's multiply with x square. This become x cube plus x square. It gets cancelled. You get minus x square plus x minus x minus x square minus x this is cancelled you get 2x let me check once again x cube plus x square correct this becomes 1 this is x 1 actually 1 minus x square and what you get is 1 plus x there if you say plus 1 1 plus x there is no remainder that is one way or I know that if px is equal to x cube plus 1, px by x plus 1 is nothing but, I mean, remainder for this, is nothing but p of minus 1. So let's find p of minus 1. Let's bring in minus 1 cube plus 1, and that is 0. So using any of these methods, you can find the remainder using the remainder theorem or you can actually do a physical division okay so hope you understood the concept of remainder theorem right if i have two polynomials to divide px and let's suppose by x plus 1 or x plus 3 kind of number so this is x plus k then you find p of minus k so p of minus k actually or Whatever number you have, right? P P x by g x, right? You say g x is equal to zero. You find the zeros of g x, and that zero of g x you put here, that will actually give you the remainder. Okay? When you say p x by g x, the degree of p x has to be more than the degree of g x. So let's do a proof for remainder theorem. Okay. So let's take let's px be any polynomial. Polynomial with uh, degree greater than or equal to one. Okay. So I'm saying if px is divided by x minus c, I get quotient is let's suppose qk and remainder as rx, exactly. Thus, I can write that px is nothing but x minus c whatever you have into q of x plus remainder right dividend this is divisor this is okay so dividend is divisor into quotient plus remainder one more thing to note is, as per the general rule, we have seen that the degree of remainder will always be less than the degree of divisor. Degree of divisor is degree of divisor is one, maximum actually power is one. So degree of remainder will be zero. So degree of remainder is zero. I can write R x as nothing but some R. Okay, because it has to be some constant. Now, I have to make this as 0 to get the remainder. To make this as 0, Qx is something which we don't know. This is unknown. So, x minus c is something we know, divisor. So, I can say x minus c is 0. So, if you say x minus c is x is 0, that is x is equal to c. Right? So if I find p of c, 
that will become nothing but if you find p of c x minus c is 0 0 into q of x plus r that is 0 plus r that is r so as per this logic p of c will give me the remainder okay so as we just proved this is the remainder theorem so px be any polynomial greater than or equal to 1 and a be any real number if px is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder is always p a px divided by x minus a for this if you want to find the remainder for this is nothing but p of a let's take some example find the remainder when this whole expression is divided by x minus 1 so one big way is you actually physically do the division or i can say that remainder when x minus 1 divides px assume px is this is nothing but p of 1 as per event of theorem so let's find p of 1 p of 1 will be 1 to the power 4 plus 1 to the power 3 minus 2 into 1 to the power 2 plus 1 plus 1 so this becomes 2 so the remainder is 2 pretty easy shortcut to find remainder check whether polynomial this is a multiple of 2t plus 1 as I told you this polynomial will be multiple of this if remainder is equal to 0 if you divide qt with this number so if on qt when you divide with 2t plus 1 okay so let's find the remainder so as per remainder theorem q of c 2t plus 1 is equal to 0 gives t is equal to minus 1 by 2 so q of minus 1 by 2 is nothing but remainder when qt divides 2t plus 1 correct as per remainder theorem so let's find the remainder first so this is 4t cube 4 into minus 1 by 2 cube plus 4t square t is in minus 1 by t square minus t t is again minus 1 by 2 and then minus 1 solve it 4 into minus 1 by 8 plus this becomes 4 into 4 1 by 4 this becomes plus 1 by 2 it's minus 1 this gets cancelled 1 minus 1 gets cancelled and this is 4 by 8 is minus 1 by 2 this is minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and this is 0 since the remainder is 0 I can say that this whole qt is multiple of 2t plus 1 same thing 9 by 3 is 0 remainder is 0 that means 3 is multiple of 9 8 by 3 remainder is not 0 3 is not multiple of 8 same thing so qt by 2t plus 1 remainder is 0 that means 2t plus 1 is a factor of qt or qt is a multiple of 2t plus 1 both are same Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.